Let's talk about lighting and magnification when you're sharpening shears. Now, as you see here, my hanging lights, <laughs> I love these. Uh, fluorescent lights, my husband Gene installed these. Pretty simple. We bought chains from um, the hardware store and the cords just run up to the ceiling and they're attached by an extension cord to the wall. And we've been inspected twice by the fire department and they haven't said anything about these. So um, I'm pretty happy with these lights. And the height I have them is low enough to get to the table to get good lighting here. But even if I lean over to get something, for me, my head doesn't hit. And that's how we measured them. Um, I've seen some people have them much lower than this. You know, you work out what works for you. But I love these lights. But that's not enough. Now, as much as I like these lights up here, additional lighting is important to me. You can't have enough light. I know some sharpeners, um, they were good sharpeners, but they sharpened in the dark. I don't know how. I guess Braille. But the better the light, the better you see. So I'm going to show you some of the lights that I use now or have used in the past. Um, this one is an op Opt Light, OTT. And that one in the past was my favorite because it's a cool light. It doesn't get hot and it's full spectrum sunlight. You can see, look how nice my face looks in this light. So much better than the fluorescent. Uh, so it's healthy for you if you suffer from, you know, the um, winter blues because of sunlight. Um, so I like that. What I didn't like, and the reason I quit using it, is you see my lights coming out. It falls on the floor once, and it's gone. They're fairly expensive, and the bulbs are very expensive. And this was just kind of bulky. But I used this for years and years and years. I usually would buy them sometimes on Black Friday. I would buy a couple of dozen of them because we could um, resell them. Um, we no longer carry them, but these are, you know, made in China. But Ot Light, it's a full-spectrum light. That's one option for you. I guess you can get them at your office supply. The other light we went to um, before we had the HD machines. Our Cymic machines now are all steel, so that gave us a different option. Before, when they were aluminum, the light that you're going to see me use most of the videos is this one, which is magnetic, and it'll fit on the side of my machine. And it's an LED light. So once again, it doesn't get hot on me. Man, that light's dirty. I need to clean it off. So you can see how bright that is. And I think it really, it's brighter than the Ot light. Uh, uh, and it stays cool. This little light is a cheapy one, but if you have an aluminum body on your machine or plastics like some of them, this one will work. This is just a, a plug, this is a, for a laptop. We sell these, but you can get them online and other places. And um, it just plugs in, and it's just your, like your phone charger and, and works there. Um, you can use it straight in your laptop. And it's an LED, and this one turns on and off. When I'm training people, the light I usually put up here, I'll have it down below. Because having the light below where you are, the shadow of where the shears is, that will let you know if you're landing correctly. So when you're training, or if you're not really sure about it landing carefully, you may want to put your light below. It, once I do most of my sharpening with that light up here because that gives me light for everything. So that's lights. Two other lights magnification things you can use. Um, you've seen me many times use this Magni wand. And this thing is really awesome. And um, it has a little case to put it in. I have not dropped it on the floor, but it feels pretty sturdy. So I think it would hold up. And if you use this, let me grab a pair of shears here. I had some come in for sharpening. Oh, wow. One other thing aside, what I'm seeing right now since we've had this pandemic is the hairstylists will take their shears all apart to clean them. And oh, I see your text messages. Uh, my stylus, what I'm seeing now with these shears is, and I think this is one of them, where they take them all apart to clean them, and then they put them back together backwards. Let me get some scissors and open these up. They wrap them good. 
Um, yeah, this is this is going to be one of those. <laughs> they take them apart <laughs> to clean them, and then they lose parts and they can't put them back together. And that's what I'm sure this one is. So it needs sharpening, needs parts. If you are missing parts or you need to order a specific part, this little magne wand works good because it has measurements in it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Now this is the little internal clicker plate. That's usually what's not that. This is usually what's lost, not the nut out above it. But you can put this down, and you put your magne wand right on whatever you're looking at, and then you bring it up to your eye. And I can see the measurements of exactly how big this is in millimeters or in inches. So let me show you what I'm talking about with this thing. I'm putting my finger straight on here. See that? And then I'm going to just bring it up. And you see how I have the measurements there? You can see exactly what's going on. This works good if you want to have a stylus look at something or if you need to see something and it's immediate and you can do measurements and it has the light in it. In the past, I used an OptiVisor and um, at the Sharpener's Jam, one of the ideas that was shared and that I really like it and it was shared from um, Denmark. It was shared from Denmark and I'll roll that footage here. Hello everybody and welcome to the Sharpener's Jam. I'm Jørgen from Denmark. Hello Bonnie. Hello everybody else. And when you're working and people are looking at you, then you're looking just like a watchmaker. So if you have problems with the eyes, I am long-sighted, but I'm not so short-sighted anymore. Hope you can use the idea and have a, have a nice day. And he was using this. And I like this. There's nothing wrong with this. Um, you can, we don't sell them. You can order them. Mine is kind of, as it's gotten old, slides down. I would like it if it would stay up. And usually they'll have different lenses in here that you can flip up. And this one is so old, it's, it's gone. And you can adjust it to your head by here. And I think this looks really cool when you're in there sharpening. Uh, some of them have lights on the side. It, it depends. Now I'm going to show you my new toy, and we just started carrying this, and I'm going to call this a Cyclops glasses. Fits over my glasses, and I have a little light. Do I look like a Cyclops with a single eye? <laughs> And the light is adjustable. These are a little adjustable. And this is actually pretty comfortable. If you're wearing these a long time, it also comes with a strap where you take the little ear pieces off and you put the strap on around you. But personally, I like these glasses. These are lighter than some that I've tried and seen in the past. And I will probably just wear them like this. It doesn't mess up my hair. I don't get the hat hair. And uh, what I like about it, too, is I have choices of five different, let me turn that off, um, five different lenses I can put on here. It comes with, oh, and you even have a little white for your lenses. But, um, so my Cyclops glasses has, that one, the one I have on right now is 1X, so it's one time magnification. I have a 1.5, so they're sort of like glasses, but they just add to mine, um, a 2.0, and these are plastic, they're not glass, so not only do they not break, but they're also light, so it's not pulling my glasses down. This is a 2.5, and then a 3.5. When I'm working, it'll give me just a little extra insight to what I'm looking at. And then if I want to look at it really close, then I'm going to grab my Magna Wand. So let me... And since these are not individually marked, you need to put them back in the right slot. However, you can see the difference in them just by the thickness of the, of the uh, lenses here. So I'm going to put the stronger one in here. Turn my little light on. And 
and this definitely increases my ability to see the sheer edge and I can see my washer is in here and this is about the distance that you're holding it so it's not like you're bringing that other thing up to your eye and I like it that I can kind of put my head down to look at it closer and then come back up to see what I'm doing so and it's once again it looks kind of cool if you're in the salon sharpening and it does give you a little extra light in what you're looking at so those are my tips for having good light when you're sharpening good light and good magnification I know some people have the big lamp that has like the magnifier on it and the light coming down and that's nice too if I was um, only going to be in one place working I would have that these other ones are a little bit more mobile for people that go in the salons and sharpen like I do um, in the past and <laughs> we'll be doing more now that, that the pandemic is going away but um, hope it's going away it's supposed to be I don't know it's a roller coaster ride isn't it y'all but we're in this together and I'm hoping that helps you with all your sharpening no matter what you're sharpening shears or um, even clipper blades you're going to need to have a good magnification and I would think this would be an easy one to kind of look at what's going on with your clipper blades so um Stay tuned and um, watch some of our other videos. We have a lot of them. I try to upload several things a week and subscribe so you'll be one of the first ones to see it. And um, goodbye from the Cyclops. <laughs>